Santa Barbara is considered a walkable community for a lot of reasons. We've got fantastic weather, a relatively compact downtown, and spectacular scenery. But there is one other character trait our town has that not many others do that makes it particularly pedestrian friendly. Santa Barbara is a walkable community because we have all the right ingredients. We have a beautiful place, we have uh, the ocean, the mountains, but more than that, we have a city that was laid out before the car was even invented, which means it was laid out for walking. But the advent of the car and the roadway changes it necessitated haven't always been kind to the pedestrian. Traffic engineers have long tried to strike a balance between the needs of the different modes of travel, utilizing all means of testing and surveys to accomplish that. In Santa Barbara, they've also relied on input from another source, you. Members of the public are the best resource we have for understanding what improvements we need to the public road right of way. And oftentimes we'll get requests or crosswalks or stop signs at certain locations. Normally what people are looking for is uh, uh, sometimes they're looking to slow traffic down. Um, sometimes they're just having a hard time getting onto the main street from their, the side street that they live on or they're trying to cross the street. Public Works staff say they receive about 50 of these types of requests a year. Requests are evaluated using two main criteria. If there's enough side street traffic, um, that there's causing a lot of delays for people trying to get across the street or onto the street, or uh, if there's a significant collision problem at the intersection. But depending upon the issue, stop signs aren't always the best solution. For instance, stop signs are not an effective way to slow traffic down. And that's really what not stop signs are not intended for. They're really intended for uh, a right-of-way assignment device. In other words, letting people know whose turn it is to go. And as well, there's, there's risks with installing stop signs. Uh, we know that stop sign installations can cause an increase in rear end collisions. And as well, some people do run stop signs and that can end up in collisions as well. So we have to be really careful that we're addressing the problem with installing stop signs. With this in mind, Public Works uses a variety of tools and techniques to create custom solutions for each intersection that improve safety. This is important because no two intersections in Santa Barbara are exactly the same. There are instances, though, when alternatives to stop signs aren't feasible. Such was the case at the intersection of Anapamu and Laguna Streets. This intersection's been on our radar for a while just because of the collision history here. Um, but a few years ago, it tripped the magic number, which is five collisions per year to justify an always stop. Um, normally what we would try to do is try to mitigate that before we do an always stop by improving sight lines. Uh, sometimes we can move the parking further back away from the intersection uh, in order to improve sight lines. And that usually corrects the problem. You know, we, we like to keep traffic moving when we can. But on this particular street, there's uh, some really large historic trees on the street and the trunks are so large that people have a hard time seeing around. And uh, because the trees are such a valuable um, asset to the community, um, we, we had to install an all-way stop to fix the collision problem. So if you travel an intersection in the city that seems less than safe, call the traffic engineering hotline at 560-7518. Your input is a valuable resource that helps staff evaluate all the options. We're constantly trying to develop new ways of making that experience positive for the pedestrian and the motorist. Where the motorist recognizes, okay, here's a crossing, I'm going to yield, and the pedestrian feels safe doing so. What we strive for in the city of Santa Barbara is for all modes of travel uh, to get around easily and safely. Uh, we, we want people to be able to choose how they get around, and we want people to be uh, able to get to where they want to go safely.